Hey guys, let's go to more news from the Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Splash? Cowboys to sign Landry, predicts NFL exec. Jarvis Landry is coming off the least productive season of his career, yet there are those who think he might be the Cowboys' splash signing at receiver. Frisco, contrary to what many outside the star repeat by rote, the Dallas Cowboys do not need to make a splash when it comes to talent acquisition, rather, they just need talent acquisition, just like every other team. There is no conflict between inside the building and outside the star, however, about a positional need, as the Cowboys themselves made clear at last year's October trade deadline when they flirted with trade ideas for Houston's Brandon Cooks and Denver's Jerry Judy, then signed T.Y. Hilton while also whining and dining Odell Beckham Jr. without a deal getting done. And now come more ideas, big ideas DeAndre Hopkins-level ideas. But one former NFL exec thinks he got a match, and brings a debate over whether it's also a splash the Cowboys are going to look to make a splash at wide receiver, a former NFL exec tells NFL Analysis Network. Jarvis Landry may not be viewed by most as a splash anymore, but he would be a big-time addition. I think that's where he ends up, although other teams will be interested as well. Would that really be upgrading their wide receiver position? C.D. Lamb is a proven number one receiver, but there is uncertainty alongside him, starting with Michael Gallup, who hopefully will recapture his form after returning following ACL surgery. Landry, 30, is a five-time pro bowler, but that seems like a long time ago. His last appearance was in 2019. He is entering free agency while coming off the least productive season of his career as playing back home for the Saints, the LSU product caught only 25 passes for 272 yards and one touchdown. Injuries were an issue and at 5-11, 200, he isn't the prototype for what Dallas wants at the position. The Cowboys, as an organization, do know their LSU guys. But to us, this concept fits more along the lines of the James Washington signing, which didn't work out, and the Hilton signing, which did a possible helper to sign later in free agency, third tier, and only a slash after the Cowboys' attempts for bigger and better wideouts fail. And you fan, what do you think about Jarvis Landry signing for the Dallas Cowboys? Leave your opinion in the comments.